Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to um, determine the square or evaluate for the square root of 64. Now, again, the square root represents you know, what number multiplied by itself gives us 64. And I think between 0 and 100, um, it's very, very important for you to know how to do these square, um, what the square numbers are. So I'm actually just going to kind of go through this and um, determine that so you guys can determine the kind of the square numbers up to 100 and see if 64 is a square number. And you could obviously could prime factorize this, break this down into its prime factors. But I have a couple of other videos for that. So, and I think you know what we want to get to in this point is making sure we know our square numbers. So if I did 2 times 2, that equals 4. Now remember, the reason why are we talking about 2 times 2? Because remember, the square root of 2 times 2 is equal to the square root of 4, which is just equal to 2. So when we're taking the square root of a number, we want to see the square root of a number is the number that you multiply by itself to give you 4, which is 2. So let's do 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 6 times 6 equals 36. 7 times 7 equals 49. 8 times 8 equals 64. So since 8 times 8 equals 64, Again, let's think back of what does the square root say? What does it mean? The square root represents what number multiplied by itself. What number multiplied by itself gives us 64? 64, the same thing, 8 times 8. Well, what number multiplied by itself gives us 64? These are the same thing. So therefore, the answer is just 8. So the square root of 64 is 8. All right? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate a perfect square. Thanks.